The next step in our plan is to check the text that we have read thus far for profanity. Now to do this, I searched the internet and found this website called wdyl.com or what do you love? This website was developed by Google and one of the things it does is that it can tell us if a word is a curse word or not. So if I go to this website's profanity link, which is profanity question mark Q. Uh, by the way, this link is also available in the instructor notes and try out the word shut S H O T and see what happens. Aha, the website's response is false, which means that this word, the word shut is not a curse word. But if I change this word by just one letter and hit enter, ah, the response is a little bit different. I can even give this website a sentence or a paragraph. So let me, in place of saying one word, say, I can take a shot at it and hit enter. And the response is false, which means that the sentence is fine. But if I change one word in that sentence, so I will say, I can, well, you know, and then hit enter. Ooh, the response now is true, which means that there is a curse word in the sentence. All we have to do now is do what we've been doing, but using code.